come on a date. I'll uh, pay for the date, but only if the girl has some sort of like plastic surgery. And the reason <laughs> is, uh, if they spend some money to make me happy, I should do the same. It's a fair trade. <laughs> um, you know, there's a lot of pressure on women in society. Uh, one, of the, one of the pressures is figuring out what to wear. You know, every girl, they want to find that outfit that makes them look good, but they also, they don't want to be judged for it either. So, it takes hours to find the right outfit. Um, I thought of a solution that would help both genders. I think women should just walk around naked. <laughs> Word. <laughs> um, I always start to forget my jokes like a minute in. Um, oh yeah, here's a good one. Somebody said a joke about like abortion before. I also have a cool one about abortion. Um, so, uh, you know, a lot of people say about the baby, like you can't just terminate a pregnancy um, because you're killing a baby. So I agree that it is kind of killing a baby, but most of the babies I've met are like not very like cute people. They're very annoying, you know? <laughs> they cry all the time. Um, they always want food. Like, fuck. <laughs> like, uh, yeah, so I think, you know, okay, t you can abort it two trimesters into the pregnancy, and after two trimesters, after the pregnancy ends, too. Uh, that's my solution. So yeah, I guess the setup was a little pointy in the punchline there, but uh, yeah, I'll, I'll edit that one a little. It's my first show. Um, so, uh, oh yeah, so one time I was trying out for the basketball team, and uh, me and the co basically I didn't want to be on the team at the end of the day because me and the coach were having some philosophical differences. Like uh, during the tryouts, you know, I thought I was like a really good basketball player, like had some skills, could shoot, dribble. Um, the coach didn't, so yeah, I was cut like the first day. Um, and yeah, the coach was my dad, so um, yeah, we have a bit of a love-hate relationship. Yeah. Um, so black people in the N word, right? Um, you know, it's kind of a weird concept to me because you know I'm Jewish, but like I don't go up to my friends like, "Hey, how are we doing today?" <laughs> I don't know, but you know, I heard a black person explain it to me. He's like. We use that word as a term of endearment. You know, we're taking uh, all the offense out of that word when we say it. So I thought, okay, that's pretty cool, but I don't think that has worked because, like, they still get offended if you call them N-word, right? Like, <laughs> yeah, okay. That one, yeah, that one got me kicked out of the uh, comedy club in my college. So it was too offensive. So your jokes, they're, they're rude, crude, incomplete, and immature. You can't be in our comedy club. So anyways, this next joke, uh, I'm in New York City, I see a homeless person jerking off. Um, 